Hi guys, um, I'm going to share a devotion with you today, and well, first we'll just get really honest. It's been a really hard week this week, um, for no reason other than my own demise. <laughs> I made a big long list of to-dos and got overwhelmed and got burnt out and fizzled. Um, so when I read this devotion, it hit home pretty good. Um, I'm going to read a couple of the scriptures that went along with it first, and then um, I'll read it. Um, Psalm 31, 16. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. Um, Psalm 107, 8. Let me give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Isaiah 61, 10. I will greatly delight and rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. All right, so the devotion is, uh, I love you regardless of how well you are performing. Sometimes you feel uneasy, wondering if you are doing enough to be worthy of my love. No matter how exemplary your behavior, the answer to that question will always be no. Your performance and my love are totally different issues, which you will need to sort out. I love you with an everlasting love that flows out from eternity without limits or conditions. I have clothed you in my robe of righteousness, and this is an eternal transaction. Nothing or no one can reverse it. Therefore, your accomplishment as a Christian has no bearing on my love for you. Even your ability to assess how well you are doing on any given day is flawed. Bring your performance anxiety to me and receive in its place my unfailing love. Try to stay conscious of my loving presence with you in all that you do, and I will direct your steps. <sighs> okay. Uh, reflect on the difference it would make if you really believed I love you regardless of your performance then rest in that truth because that's how I love you um so I just wrote a little bit down after I read that I can allow myself to have a down or off day or two if I need it and I did God didn't make the list out for me to check off I did. Um, I need to rest in his love to get restored and renewed and let him lead again. Um, the only time it's good for me to be a follower. Um, I, I trust his love and I trust him to um, help me to do the things for him that I need to do. And I need to be able to let go of some things sometimes and oh, the dreaded work ask for help sometimes, which I am really bad at. Um, and maybe some of you can feel that same way too. And um, maybe we can encourage each other in that way. Um, we'll just say a little quick prayer and I thank you all for listening. Heavenly Father, I do thank you for allowing me to just have a moment sometimes. And coming back to you and reflecting and realizing that I'm twisting and turning in circles because you didn't give me that list of to-dos, I did. I thank you for that unfailing love and that when I come to you, you give me that joy and that peace and you restore me and you renew me and you set me back on my feet and then I'm ready to follow again. No matter how many times we do it together, I'm just so thankful, Lord, that we get to do it together. I thank you so much for your amazing love. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you all for listening. Have a good one.